And then you're done with that look, and it is very long wearing. And then when you said set, is that when you go to your uh, like your powder? Yeah. Okay. So like, if I use again, if I use black, I don't need these shadows. It would just add more depth into it. But if even if you use the cool thing about these cream liners is they really just increase your pigment saturation. So let's say you use black and then you use something like really soft and light over top of it. It gives it like a three D effect, but it still looks bright and soft. And the thing about it is, is especially again for fall and holiday. I think everyone is kind of used to whenever you think smoky, you think black. And you can still get a smoky kind of bedroom eye with a purple or a bronze. It's gorgeous. It's just, it's, it's a little softer. And the thing about black is there's just really no subtle way to do black, <laughs> bottom line. Like, you can't do, like, you know, I want a smoky eye, but I want to look natural, and I want it to be all black. Well, that isn't going to happen. Like, let's be real here. You can still get, like, I'm a huge fan of the bronze smoky eye because it, can look sultry and gorgeous, but still look sophisticated and something that maybe you could wear at the office or something like that. Brush cookie eyes are amazing, and they're definitely like a huge trend of the season. I mean, like it's just nice to be able to have something that's really wearable, like daytime or nighttime. You can always add a little black into like go on the lash line to intensify it, but it's just so simple. Um, and it's never going to wash out your client. Because like when you're doing black or charcoals or cooler colors, you really have to take into the complexion in mind. Like if you've got a fair client, a black smoky eye is going to wash her out nine times out of ten. So unless you want a 